me, young lady. What can I get you? My trusty colleague and I are looking for potato paradise. Mm. Go out of here, turn right, keep going till you get to the fountain. You'll see it on your left. Many, many thanks, dear lady. Come, come, Cheeseman, get a wiggle on. The competition begins in three minutes. Competition? What competition? Ah, oh, tush. <laughs> the tragic consequence of failing to subscribe to one's local brawl cheat. <laughs> the echo. Now, ladies, if you care to peruse my column, all will be revealed. Mash into cash. Bring your spots down to Potato Paradise, who are offering a grand prize of £100 to the customer who looks most like their potato. Mm. <laughs> this is a joke, right? I, uh, Roger Parry, shall be delivering my verdict on the various vegetables. The customer who looks most like his potato? Yes. Well, what kind of imbecilic moron is going to be stupid enough to enter an idiotic competition like that? What do you reckon? <laughs> What? Don't waste your film on that problem, you cheeseman. I well, do you think I'm in with a chance? <laughs> it's uncanny. I just can't tell the two of you apart. I don't tell very much, then. I think it's outrageous. Nothing more than a cheap publicity gimmick to drum up trade. I have a good mind to go and complain to Mr Bassett. <laughs> no chance, son. <laughs> At least one business in this mole sound a bit of get up and go. Quick reminder, rent's due on Friday. £800. I want to start turning ugly. Star? <laughs> Sandra, we owe this vulture money. Try and show a little respect. I'm showing the old buzzers as little as I possibly can. <laughs> Sorry. You were saying, Mr. Buzzard. <laughs> Bassett. Bassett. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Yes! <laughs> more, more. Uh, sorry, I, I, uh... That was amazing. Incredible. Elvis lives and he's in our backyard. <laughs> Look, I, uh... All shook up. Yeah, I am a bit. I, I didn't understand. No, no. All shook up. Sing it for me. It's my favourite. Oh, no. Oh, not... go on, please. Um, don't be cruel. Heartbreak Hotel. <laughs> Jailhouse Rock! Look, I, I'm sorry. If you, uh, if you just signed for the, uh... Listen here. Terry. What is it with you? You're shaking like a jelly in an elevator. Loosen up, will you? I've got to go. You can't. I haven't signed for the wafers. Please? Sit down. Look, this is crazy. I I'll get someone else to sign my document. Terry, sit! Tell me what someone with your talent is doing driving a van when you could be driving girls wild with your singing. I've always been shy. On my own, I'm Captain Cool. In front of other people. General jitters. I don't understand. What have you got to be so nervous about? You're a wonderful singer. You're good looking. You're, you're really good looking. I'm a schmuck who drives a truck. And you're happy with that, are you? Yeah. Well, no. Bet you'd rather be up there on stage every night, singing your heart out. Guitars twanging, bass thumping, drums banging, joint jumping. Well, they said you were high class, but that was just a lie. Well, they said you were high class, but that was just a lie. Well, well you, you ain't never caught a rabbit, rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. You ain't nothing but a hound dog crying all the time. Well, you ain't never caught a rabbit and you ain't no friend of mine. Woo! <laughs> Sorry. I... Thanks. Sandra. <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. Spud Nun scoops a ton. Full story, pages two, five, seven, and fourteen. Not to mention the pin up of the potato without its peel on page three. All that priceless publicity. We need that. Oh, come on. No need naff stunts to pull in the punters. Things aren't that desperate. We can't pay this month's rent. 
We need this sort of brainwave around here. Spot the cherry. <laughs> Nicker Bocca Bingo. <laughs> Hot Fudge Fun Day. Get serious, will you? With 300 pounds short. Finish with this. Take it, just take it. What are you going to do, Leo? Make yourself a little paper hat to attract the gill? No, I tried that yesterday. The baby was chatting up, set fire to it. <laughs> no, I've been straining away and I've come up with a real humdinger. Thought I could smell something. I asked myself a simple question. How comes my younger sister, Lorraine, gets to go on so many dates? Hang about. Younger sister? You mean after your parents saw you, they went on and had more? <laughs> <laughs> Ignore her, Leo. Let's hear your brilliant idea. The Lonely Hearts column? This is how she gets all them blokes. <laughs> all I've got to do is bung in my particulars, sit back and wait for the lovely ladies to come knocking on my door. Make a change from knocking on your skull. <laughs> Sandra, what I was saying before about needing to attract more customers. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. Leave it with me. <laughs> Sandra, I, uh... Back again so soon? Did you get to deliver something yesterday? No. Well, sort of. Y yeah. Actually, um, I, I wanted to deliver you this. From me to you. What is it? Look, I, I better be off. Terry. It's just a little song. It's nothing. I wrote it for you, Sandra. You wrote me a song? You probably think it's rubbish. Just for me. It's no big deal. Oh, I'm really touched. Look, I, I, I really better be. What? Sandra, the truck, it, it's on a double yellow line. Terry, live dangerously. I want to hear my song now. But I. I... Sandra. Five minutes, Hal. Huh? The guitar man here is about to pluck the strings of my heart. <laughs> <That's fine. clears throat> hey, Hayley, listen to my advert for the Lonely Hearts column. Leo. Lanky and lovable, with sexy specs. <laughs> Eczema's almost cleared up. Interests include Lindsay DePaul and breeding skinks. <laughs> Seeks scintillating, frisky female for Dalek conventions and the odd snug. <laughs> you forgot to mention the dandra. <laughs> Please, Sandra. Not now. After I've gone. You'll hate it. I know you will. Terry, sit. <laughs> Lovely Zandra, let me try to sing these words, my dear. Cause I'm a guy who's kind of shy. Can't say them when. Please, Hayley, help us out here. I don't have an altitude for words like what you've got. Leo, I can't write your lonely heart sad for you. OK, OK. How about if I read it to you again and you stop me if you reckon I've said something naff? All right. Brilliant, OK. Leo. Stop. Hey, what I said was my name. Exactly. Leo. It's a turn-off. It says wimp. It says wally. <laughs> what you want to be saying is hunk. Hunk, right. You need a name that makes you sound intelligent and clever. Trevor. Something red-blooded and manly. Stanley. But I'm sensitive and cuddly. Dudley. I've got it. It's perfect. Kurt. Kurt? Kurt. I'll write you down. OK. OK, carry on. Kurt. Lanky and lovable. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> Don't say lanky. Say lean. Lean. Not lovable. A kitten with a ball of wool is lovable. <laughs> say mean. Lean. And mean. What's next? Oh, I like this bit. This bit's all right. With sexy specs. Oh. 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 What? What? Make you sound like a nerd. Hmm. Dump the specs. Dump the specs. Try a loving machine. Hey? <laughs> Listen to me, Kurt. Huh? Just trust me. Okay. Kurt, lean and mean, a loving machine. <laughs> You've got to remember one thing. If you want to get somewhere in this world, you have to sell yourself. 
If you want to get someone in this world, you have to sell yourself. I don't... I can't... Well, you should. This is fantastic. You're fantastic. With talent like yours, you should flaunt it. I mean, be bold. Show a bit of bravado. Like Madonna. What? You want me to bleach my hair and wear a pointy bra? No. <laughs> I just want everyone to know how wonderful you are. Look, I don't care about everyone. I'd be happy enough if you thought I was wonderful. Not Emmy. Sandra. Eureka! What? What happened? Buddy, Eureka! The record producer, Eureka Records! Yeah, I know that, but... We're gonna send him this tape. What? Did Sandra, no! Like Elvis used to say, it's now or never. But I don't... <laughs> Quick, I need the address of the studio. Look, I don't... Terry! Think... <laughs> Strong, sensuous and sincere. Girls, drop me a line, and when we meet, you'll be hooked. I can't put this in there. Can I get done on the Trades Descriptions Act? You could die without ever knowing what it's like to kiss a girl. I'll get them to print it extra big. Right, now all you have to do is whack this in the post, sit back and wait for the phone to ring. Sandra? What? Thanks. Don't be shy. About. Oh! Idiot! I promised Haley I'd come up with a stunt to bully the punters. Well, maybe I could help. I don't need help, I need a miracle. It's like I always used to say. Maybe I could be your good luck charm. If only. Wait! That's it. Uh, that's it. That's what? Elvis! Elvis! Elvis is the answer to our problems. I don't understand. Not only are you talented and gorgeous, you are a genius. What? What did I do? Terry, how would you like to be the first volunteer to sign up for our grand Elvis look-alike competition? <laughs> you really reckon people still go for this guy? My dear girl, we are talking about a rock legend. An icon of the 20th century. The Raja of Rhythm, the shape of the rattle and roll, Prince Elvis. <laughs> what do you think, Leo? Elvis who? <laughs> Elvis Scrap, the yodeling baboon, you tinhead. <laughs> Come on, Leo, it'll work. I know it will work. Leave everything to me. The posters, the publicity, the prize. Prize? Yeah, well, we'll have to offer a little something. Oh, come on! Stop worrying! It'll be great! Please? <laughs> Hayley? Hey? Hey. Mm. OK, why not? What have we got to lose? Just the ice cream parlour. <laughs> Excellent. This is going to be brilliant. <laughs> so we need now some contestants. Well, Terry's agreed to take part. Terry? How would you manage that? Thought you said he was a real shrinking violet. Well, yeah, but with my green fingers, any shrinking violet can be brought to bloom. <laughs> Party. Sorry I'm late. The ball jammed in my roll on deodorant and ripped off the ears at me armpit. You couldn't have just lied and said you missed the bus. Hey ho, nothing's gonna stop me today. Not today. Oh no. Today's a very special day. Today is. Oh yes. Today is the day. No, raise your end a bit, Hal. Steady. I said it's all happening today. This is the big one that I've been waiting for. No, down a bit. That's it, there. Why, isn't anyone interested in hearing about the most important day in my social calendar? They've accepted your application to join the Dippy Duck Fan Club. Congratulations. <laughs> He's got a date. What? I've got a... How do you know? I left this on the counter. <laughs> it's a reply to his lonely heart, Sad. <laughs> Give me that. Dear Kurt, you sound like my kind of hunk. <laughs> I'm blonde, I'm beautiful, and boy, am I looking forward to meeting you. That's private, that is. <laughs> Let's get it together. The sooner the better. Until our lips meet in paradise. <laughs> your very own Mar Mariella. You'll be laughing at the other side of your head when Mariella walks through the door. I'm meeting her here after work. We're going off for a romantic meal on the town together. 
So where are you taking the lucky girl then? Potato Paradise. We've got a special offer on. All the spuds you can shove down your neck for two ninety five. Oh, she'll be patting your hands. Hey, lover boy, come and help me with the speakers. Terry. So, you feeling nervous? I expect you could hear my knees knocking from the other side of the mall. Oh, I don't know what you've got to worry about. There's no competition. You'll win by a mile. Yeah, but I... No bucks, please. Now listen to me, Terry. I'm depending on you. Don't let me down. Oh, I'll never let you down, Zandra. Good. And remember, don't mention our little arrangement to anyone, especially Hayley. But I've got to... Is that word again? She doesn't need to know all the facts. Yet. You just be here at four, do your stuff, and nothing can go wrong. OK? OK. But I've got to meet someone at two. Hope it's not another girl. I'll be back, Sandra. I promise. We never got round to discussing the prize. Sandra, your grand cash prize. Hmm? Oh, yeah. The prize. <laughs> the prize is all taken care of. Arranged, nothing to worry about. Oh, look, Ow. it's Mrs. Moneybags from Millionaire Mansions. Mr. Bassett. What happened? You strike oil in the pistachio? Look. No, you look, Miss Haley Wad. <laughs> Chucking money about like it's burning a hole in your handbag. What money? What are you on about? Ice Cream Parlour The Cone Zone are today offering a £500 prize to the lucky winner of their Elvis look-alike competition. <laughs> I trust you'll still have to spare £800 for the rent. Oh, kill her. Oh, kill her! One, two... to fork out 500 pounds. We, we can't. <laughs> and we won't. What? Look, it's all fixed. The money is safe and sound. Terry's going to win the contest and give the prize back to us. We get the publicity. It costs us nothing. Terry. Terry. You've seen him. The guy looks like Elvis. He sounds like Elvis. The plan is foolproof. Foolproof. <laughs> Call me an old party pooper, but just supposing Wonder Boy doesn't win. Oh, please. Crying all the time. <laughs> Rain of the time. Crying all the time. You ain't never I knew I should have killed you when I had the chance. <laughs> so where is he then, the king? His private plane gets stuck in Las Vegas, did it? He'll be here. He will. I know he will. Admit it, Sandra. He stood you up. Oh, don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Said he'd be here at four. Well, maybe he'll make it in time for the bankruptcy hearing. <laughs> don't say that. Sandra, the competition is ending. When we hand over the cheque for £500, we may as well hand over the keys to this place. We're finished. Out of business. It's over. Oh, Shut up, girls. It may never happen. I like my big date with Mariella. <laughs> Where is she? Where is he? I'll check outside. Excuse me, I'm looking for someone called Kurt. Kurt? Oh, you must be. Mariella. So do you know him then? He's six foot three, blue eyes, lean and mean No and... sign of Lorraine, eh? No, no. Lorraine, what are you doing here, sis? Meeting Kurt. What are you? Meeting Mariella. Oh, I'm Mariella, you big pilchard. And I'm Kurt, you little grommet. I would have brought a bag of bones if I'd known I was dating the elephant man. Yeah, well, when you described yourself as looking like a film star, didn't I? You meant Freddy Krueger. Wait two minutes about this. At least I've saved myself two ninety five on the meal. Cheap steak, I'd say. <laughs> See? We're not the only ones with problems. <laughs> It only remains for me, Roger Parry, to do the honours. I can't watch. Hayley. The winner of the Grand Cone Zone Elvis Lookalike Contest is... Marvin Schmidlap. <laughs> <laughs> Your check for 
500 pounds. And don't squander it all on hair cream. <laughs> and now, let's hear it one more time, Marvy Baby. Sandra. You. Well, don't look at me like that. Say something, please. I trusted you. I really trusted you. How could you do this to me? Ah, well, that's you what... said you'd be here. Yeah, but... Because of you, I've lost everything. Conzo, my best friend. Do you understand me? Everything. Listen, Just please. Just go away. I never want to see you again. Just go. Not until I've had my say. I'm not listening. I've been with Buddy Eureka. The record producer. I hope the two of you will be very happy together. <laughs> he phoned yesterday, said he loved the tape. Asked to see me this afternoon. Well, that's where I was. I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> Some surprise? You said you'd be here at four, remember? Of course I remember. Buddy insisted on taking me to lunch. Oh, wonderful. You couldn't have just said you were on a diet. <laughs> He's a very persuasive man. He just said, Terry, sit. I'm just like you do, Zan. <laughs> Well, the next thing, I, w I was in the middle of the prawn cocktail. I hope you <laughs> But you haven't asked me why he wanted to see me. He gets lonely eating on his own. Yeah. <laughs> to celebrate. To celebrate being signed by Eureka Records. To celebrate this. It's an advance for £10,000. £10,000? Oh. <laughs> it was only because of you that I sent the tape up in the first place. Well, you made me believe I could do it. So, uh, as my agent, 10% of that is yours. What are you talking about 10%, 20%, if you don't mind? Does that mean you forgive me? I'm working on it. There's somebody I have to see. Sandra? Daddy? Sit! <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. I should have told you about the 500 pounds. Don't mention it. It's only my future you're flushing down the toilet. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> That's a cheque for 10,000 pounds. <laughs> and 2,000 of it is mine. Oh, oh. 2,000 pounds. That's 500 for the contest. 800 for the rent. And that still leaves us with... Seven hundred pounds! <laughs> Seven hundred pounds! Think what we could do with that! Well, we could put it towards my latest publicity sensation. The Grand Cone Zone Come as a Cornet <laughs> Grand Cash Prize, one thousand pounds. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna... Come here! Come here! <laughs> Did you know Sam Dallas is in town today? THE Sam Dallas. It's very hush-hush. His new movie's opening up at the Multiplex today, and the man himself is turning up in person. Oh, I'm Sam Dallas's number one fan. So am I. The thing is, I promised the manager I'd find someone to stand in for me this afternoon. You'll have to fight it out between you. I do hope it doesn't come to blows. Sandra! I've told you 24,000 times I'm going to the premiere and you're staying here. And I've told you 24,001 times eight socks. 